Hello everyone, welcome back to another cleaning video. How are you all doing? The sun's out today, it's absolutely gorgeous and it makes me feel really, really motivated. But I will be honest and say that while I was doing this video, I had no motivation whatsoever, like nothing was getting me going. But um, it was one of those kind of days where I knew I had to do rooms, but I couldn't face it because every room has become somewhat cluttered it's become untidy it's become disorganized and it needs a going over but I couldn't face physically doing it so what I did was over like five hours I just boosted myself in small sections just to do small areas because I just wasn't feeling it like mentally I'm so overwhelmed I've got so much going on I've got a birthday this weekend it's mother's day this weekend I've got another birthday next week and it's world book day so we're making costumes and it's just it's all too much you know when you just get overloaded and sometimes it gets really bad for me where I can get emails from the schools and I'm just like I can't I, I can't I will literally explode if there's one more thing and it's not that the schools are doing anything wrong it's not that anybody's doing anything wrong it's just I mentally can't cope with it even the smallest little thing I don't I'm not like this all the time but it, it, it builds and then all of a sudden it's there and it's really hard to deal with makes me feel really I don't know just like I'm not in control and everything's about to go downhill it's so bizarre so I thought what I would do is in between watching The Handmaid's Tale because that's what I had on all day I would tackle little jobs around the house that that do need doing but it doesn't mean I've got to strip out a whole room to do it but that is coming I've got those videos coming I'm doing room by room because it's most needed but I am going to be doing a, a bit of a decorating as well in this week coming because I'm doing up the boys bedroom really really excited I'm also doing up my eldest bedroom but that's not going to be filmed that's his little domain that it's the it's like a man cave you know so I'm in the process of that but what's everybody up to what have you been doing with yourselves because I feel like all I do is go from one like madness to another that's how it is one madness to another I did go into home bargains the other day I picked up some beautiful solar lights for my mum they were they're in the garden section and they were like they look like ch open tulips like is it open tulip or open lilies and different colors no not lilies I don't know these open flowers in different colors and they hang upside down and they're absolutely stunning they're stunning and they do actually work because I didn't realize that they were actually turned on on and then came the evening I was like why is that home bag home bargains bag down there glowing it's like glowing in my hole like it was really weird and yeah they were all on so absolutely gorgeous so I'm looking forward to I might what I might do is like go to like card factory and get tissue paper and like individual boxes and then like pack them really nice and neatly in there they're not glass they're like really strong plastic but they are really nice who would have thought that like I hate cleaning the fridge freezer because one, it never looks clean. It's scratched to pieces. And well, this, the reason it's got those marks in it is because we used to have magnets like of everywhere we went. It was like a thing. You know, if we go to Heaver Castle, let's get a magnet for the fridge as a reminder of where we've been. You know, like you're going to forget. And let's go to Portsmouth, you know, the old docks. Let's get a magnet for that as well. So we can be like, oh yeah, we went there because without that magnet, who would have known? Who would have known? We wouldn't have remembered. But that's why they all scratched on there because when we had the magnets, the boys used to shuffle them about and they'd make pictures and whatnot and it ended up leaving marks, which is a shame. But anyway, I'm giving it a clean. But who would have thought that using a window wiper on your fridge freezer works a dream? It is so good like I'm loving finding out all these these little tips and tricks look yeah just wipes it straight dry with no you know you know when you walk past it you can see where you've circled the cloth around or something you don't get that after you've done that it looks really really good so I'm going to do that from now on it's a little bit fiddly around the handles but it was worth doing I would love to hear all your well book day costumes like what you wore or friends wore children wore grandchildren wore i love it i l honestly melted my heart on the way to school just seeing all these children just running along in like all these massive dresses and sparkly things and there's boys going in with like 
oh my god one was dressed as a full banana i was just like oh my goodness me it was amazing i love seeing it absolutely love seeing it and um yeah i mean i did pirates for our boys because that's what they wanted to be so we created pirate costumes and then they don't know it yet but when i picked them up from school i've done what i did really was i went onto google and i searched pirates of the caribbean backdrop and then what i did was i screenshot it and cropped it and then what I've done is I've cut the pictures that I've taken of my boys out in their pirate costumes and I've added them to it on like a little app brilliant absolutely brilliant so it looks like they've got their own little pirates of the Caribbean backdrop for their costume rather than having like the street in the background or the house or whatever or the hallway it looks really good so that's a little surprise for them when they come home but they did look awesome they were squirming like mad when I was putting the eyeshadow on their eyes but yeah it is quite ticklish, I suppose, when you don't when you don't do that kind of thing. So the sponge wasn't getting all that dirt off. And this is a nightmare down here because it just collects. This is from the back door. It's like a suction thing. You know you get them around the house with, with doors and even windows. Front door and the back door, they bring the suction. And look, it's taken off paint. I so need to go to B&Q and get sand. Well, we've got a sanding machine, so we're going to do some sanding. I've got to do the toilet downstairs. It wasn't coming up that great with my old Sephora mixture, so I got out the old bicarb flash and it was bringing it up nice and white. Yeah, it was. I was feeling really chuffed with that. I was like, oh, look. I don't know why I was feeling really, really chuffed because I know I'm painting this. So, yeah, but my mixture here, my Tesco's laundry capsule with some Lenore, I spray it on my fake flowers. Spray it in there, get it all over. Yes. Because then they smell nice. They do smell nice as well. Because when you go near... Oh, listen. Oh. Literally love those little piggies. I got them a new little igloo thing. Yep. And I cleaned them out. And I popped it in. And they were so excited. Do you know what's amazing? I went to the fruit and veg shop. And I asked. Because I was in there. Looking at all the flowers and all that. You know. Thought I'd get some fruit. Make a fruit salad. And I asked. I said. Do you ever have scraps for like rabbits and guinea pigs and all that? And she was like. Yeah we do. But we haven't got any at the moment. So she said. If you can come back tonight or tomorrow. We'll have a load for you. And you can take them. Anyway I went back. It's like a flipping sack. There's no wrong with it either perfectly fine and yeah they're having an absolute field day and my front room smells a little bit like cabbage because there is a sack full of it's like a, a big potato sack like a plastic one and it's full of cabbage carrots apple honestly it's like a dream for those guinea pigs in there they're well happy but yeah they get really excited and sometimes when you give them something new they explore it they start popcorning and then they they come up to you and they start squeaking at you like oh we love it they're just adorable little things they are they are so i'm going around all the door frames because i as i've said previously i'm painting this hallway and i want to get it all fresh and clean prior and with sticky little hands you know it happens there is no way on this planet i don't care who you are you could be the queen without having help you know and you cannot maintain clean walls 24 7 if you've got kids it's impossible if you've got one kid or if you've got a hundred kids it is not impossible unless you're literally cleaning the walls all day long because it just happens they come home from school they drop their bags down on the floor they put their coat up and then they they just stand in the doorway with their hands and i'm like where have your hands been and they're like oh it was you know forest school or something today and you know they got muddy and you're like how many times a day do you wash your hands at school do you know what the funny thing is though you say i say that but when they ask to go to the toilet it's like oh well, you've already been you went three hours ago you don't need to go again so how often are they allowed to actually wash their hands makes you think doesn't it anyway i've got a little something to show you here so i got this lamp it's amazing it's absolutely amazing. It's a three shelf lamp with a linen shade. It is beautiful. So this is off Amazon and I will link this down below if you're interested. I'm terrible with instructions. So me building this was like, oh God help me. God help me. The screwdriver that comes with it is, yeah. I mean, it's great that they've put one in there, but it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't do the job. It's too fiddly. So if you've got your own screwdriver, it's much better. But um, to be fair, I just used my hands and screwed it in like that yeah 
and then when I put the next leg on I just twisted the leg rather than using the screwdriver but this is beautiful I'm so chuffed with it I will show you when it's all built and you know, it lights up it has got a nine watt LED bulb with four color chain um, four color temperatures it's got five light modes it's got a remote control um, it's got dimming oh honestly the shade is like a linen shade and it's a beige color and this is in matte black it's also got a timer on it it's got a timer yes you can put it on for an hour if you're like dozing off and you can have it on like a dim setting it's even got like reading settings you just press the button on my control oh i'm reading so it picks the perfect light for reading it's insanely good it is on an offer at the moment so it's worth checking out it also comes with a two-year warranty um, and 24 7 customer service i am going to get another one i've decided because i really love this it was so easy to build it feels lovely quality and I will be honest and say that I was gifted this. Now, me saying that, I get offered stuff every day. I'm not even joking. I get offered stuff every single day and I don't accept them. I get offered hair, wigs, um, clothing. I got offered like a £400 uh, voucher to choose from their website. Anything I wanted. And then I would share it and I refused because... I don't share anything unless it's worth sharing and I'm not doing it and trust me when I say I get offers every day because I do like it's insane um but if it's something that's like oh my goodness me yes I mean look at it anyway I gave this to my son my eldest because we're doing our piece room and it's perfect for him because he collects all these like um it's like anime but it's not anime it's really weird I don't know how to describe it figures and he builds them he collects them and then that'd be a perfect spot for him but yeah if you're interested have a little look at the link down below um but i'm definitely going to get a couple for the front room so i think they would look really nice in here when i start decorating in this room it's going to be oh yes i'm thinking either side of that fireplace like on the far corners that would look really nice I don't know. I have so many ideas for this front room. It's insane because at the moment it's a bomb site. I'm going in with the Hoover because god damn, it needs it. Like you know when I said about guinea pigs, well when the kids get them out, even just as I've hoovered, they'll get them out, but they never like pick them up to the point where, you know, everything falls off their little hammy feet. No. No. They pick them up with all the hay in their own hands as well and then they just let go of it and I'm like, "Thanks for that." Yeah. It sticks in the carpet. I'm washing up the old cat bulbs and whatnot as well, getting them all clean. I hate the smell of them. It doesn't matter what soap you use. The smell that comes off is absolutely vile. It's worse than wet dog. It's absolutely disgusting. Like if, if my cup smelt like that when I drank out of it, holy moly, you can bet your backside I would not be drinking out of it. Do you ever have, a, if you ever had a cup, I'm not even joking, have you ever had a cup that smells like a hot fanny? Oh my God. Whew it's disgusting like i've had that a few times in cafes mm, no but how'd you go up to the to the um woman in the cafe and say sorry i can't drink out of this mug can you give me another one this one smells like a hot fanny it, you just can't do it can you yeah vile one thing i was going to say as well is i'm going to be taking over my other half's youtube no he's going to do the filming he's going to upload them and then i'm going to do all the like thumbnails and and all that for him because he's got so much going on he just can't keep on top of it all but i'm gonna link his channel below because if you know anyone that likes vehicle cleaning like valet because he's he's a professional one um then yeah they might be might be interested but if not you don't have to but it's it's there it's there and i'm yeah i'm gonna give him a shout out it's um smv detailing and i'm gonna link it down below he does an incredible job of what he does like he is literally the best around here and i'm not just saying that because he's my other half he is um yeah really really proud of him so i'm gonna link that down below giving the floor a good mopping over you know when you just want to really go in there with like a whole load of water you ever get that urge where you just want to chuck boiling hot water on your floor and you don't care if it's flooded as long as you just soap it up and really go for it that was the mood i was in that was the mood I was in. But I was running out of time because I had to go and pick up the boys. And I was getting distracted quite a lot with The Handmaid's Tale. And yeah, sat there last night absolutely sobbing my heart out over that. Sobbing my heart out to the point I had to go and find my boy. Like any boy that I could find. And um, 
yeah, hold their hand and give them a snuggle because it was literally breaking my heart. I went and gave them a snuggle, sniffed their head and let them go back to sleep. But yeah, there we go. So I'm running out of time. So I'm doing the upstairs toilet because I've been really good at keeping on top of this and it barely needs anything. Just a little wipe over. The only thing wrong with this, this toilet is the walls, which need doing. I'm starting to think maybe those like plastic sheetings, you know when you decorate a wall and then you have those those clear like firm plastic sheetings that go along so that no mucky hands or anything can ruin it. I'm thinking about that. People have them when they have like really hairy dogs, you know? Yeah. But there we go. I hope you're all doing really, really good. I've probably missed everything I wanted to say in this video. But, you know, there's always another time. I am going to be back on it again and trying to get a little bit more out there because I've been slacking with my feet up and feeling like the world's ending. But hopefully sun's out, feel a little bit happier and try and catch up on everything I haven't done because it's a bombsite. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Yes.